Ano? 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 Here's a personal question, Justin. Well, the controversy that, that was with you that you had with China after you guys won it, yeah. what was that about? Bas mo, alam mo ba, ang import na pinaka... English! In English? English. Did, did you know, for a fact, that the most generous and most kind import is by your side? Yes. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Justin Brownlee, can you put this in your... Yeah, let's do it. Right here? All right. Right here. All right. This so, is an ambush interview. This is an ambush uh -oh. interview. Let's do it. What Did you know got? now we're gonna interview you or not? I didn't know. All right. <laughs> now you know. I know that. First question for Justin Brownlee. Justin, how did it feel when you first got naturalized as a Filipino? It felt it felt great. Just the way the Philippines, you know, have been em embracing me, and you know, of course, the time with the never, and you know, uh, winning the championship with you guys, or winning a couple with you. I think how I many we won? Two, maybe yeah. two or three. Something like that, but uh, yeah, just the whole experience, man, and seeing how passionate um, the Philippines is about basketball, you know, it was just uh, really an honor to be able to to represent the Philippines, you know, on the basketball stage, just with the passion, knowing the passion they have for it. And uh, to be honest, I didn't think it would come true at first, you know, just because, you know, that's a, a big load and, and, you know, you got to be you know, really good, you know, like the imports that played for the Philippines before, a lot of those guys played in the NBA, and um, I, I didn't think I was good enough, but, you know, what? like I said, just the opportunity. <laughs> Man, it was just a blessing, and uh, it was an incredible feeling, you know, for sure. Of course, you have to learn the language, right? Have you learned any Tagalog words? or? That's all Rico knows, too. Tagalog. <laughs> Out of all your championships, how many have you won? How many PBA championships have you won? Sh uh, they're all with Hinebro. Six. Damn. Six. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think three years. Right, Justin? Three what? years, right? We played three years together, right? Yeah. Or did it? Th might have been more. Did they start? 16, 17? You retired 17? Yeah, 17. Okay, 17. So it was uh, 16, 17. Yeah. So 17. out of all your championships, which one was your favorite? Uh, the first one for sure. I mean, all of them were sweet. I don't want to take nothing away. Was it the one where you hit the game-winning shot? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was the sickest ever, bro. But that was, I mean, just learning the whole culture of basketball here in the Philippines and then learning the never-say-die attitude, right. you know, or the never-say-die uh, spirit or, you know, uh, from you guys, you and Mark. I remember we were talking about that the other day, that moment you guys had. Yeah. And um, that might have been one of my greatest moments in basketball. You know, I don't know, that gave me chills. That was crazy. That moment, you know, when you and Mark, um, we was down. If we don't win that game, if y'all don't have that moment, we don't win that uh, series, in, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, it, so, it would have been down 3-1. 3-1, yeah. 3-1 by the Yeah, if we won the birthday, ko. here's a story, man. First time Justin came to uh, Ginebra. I think Joe used to always <laughs> tell this story. He came to practice. We were like, oh man, we're in trouble. <laughs> oh, oh what's what? We were like, we were like, we were all like, man, he ain't that good, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't, because now, because I don't think he was in shape yet. Yeah. And uh, he was just uh, coming from the, the trip, and he came straight to practice. Me, Joe, Saul, and Mark, we were like, oh hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> all of us, we were like, we're in trouble. <laughs> I mean, y'all had I think Joey right. should tell that story, right? Yeah, I had every right to feel yeah. that way. In Tagalog. In Tagalog. Uh, translate mo. Ginadj ni Mark Kagiwa ni JJ Helterbrand yung Justin Brownlee. Yeah. Ang sabi nung dalawa, nako, lagod. Oo. Uh, Talo na tayo. Ito, ito, ito. That's true. Pero, 
Yeah. Ito mo naman, naging legend ng And now he's one of the best imports ever. Legend ng Pilipinas. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The, he's considered now your... Kaya nung pumasok siya, di ba? Parang bumalik sa atin yung Asian game. Yes, championship sa akin eh, bro. Asia, di ba? And then now everyone's comparing you to I don't know if you know uh, Chambers. Sean Chambers. Oh yeah. Sean Chambers. Everyone yeah, compares yeah. you to him as one of like the best import to ever do it, man. How how does that feel to be con con compared to like another legend? Man, that's dope. Uh, Cause I, I I'm gonna be honest. As soon as I got to the league, you know, uh, I did research, and then I don't know if you remember, but I used to look at videos, you know, of you and Mark as well, just to you know, I just wanted to learn about the league, and I didn't really know too much other than what Paul Harris you know, um, was telling me. But uh, yeah, I did my research on the imports and just seeing what he accomplished with Coach Tim and um, his impact, you know, it was huge. And I, I looked up to it, I idolized it. You know, um, I wanted to, you know, to be able to be, be mentioned with those guys and work hard. And fortunately, you know, just, of course, having teammates and, you know, like you and, you know, the whole crew at, at Enebra, it just, it just was amazing, man, to be able to now be mentioned with somebody like him and even uh, Norman Black. But, uh, you know, they, they, they are great for sure. Um, they were great in their era. And um, I think, you know, when you when you talk about the PBA and PBA imports, those guys, you got to mention, you know what I mean, especially Sean Chambers, um, you know, Norman Black, Bobby Ray Park, Superman. Um, uh, Billy Ray Bates. Billy Ray Bates. Yeah. You know, so. To be mentioned with those guys, man, it's an honor. Yeah, man, for sure. This is another question that everyone asks me, man. I'm going to ask you so you can set the record straight. Did you ever play in the NBA? No, I never played a game in the NBA. Oh, really? I, I was I was signed with the New York Knicks New York in Knicks. 2013. I had a bad uh, ankle twist, and I had a broken uh, a fracture in my ankle. And so they, they kind of cut me, maybe. I think it was like the next day. Damn. You know, um, and you never it, never got a chance to go back and, and uh, play for the NBA? No, nah, I played this D League and um, um, didn't never really have an opportunity. I played in some summer leagues too. There's no way, bro. At least, man, there's no way you're not NBA talent. I don't believe that. Man, I don't believe really that. Right? Yeah, I don't believe Man, you belong in the NBA, <laughs> man. No always doubt, saying bro. That Justin Brownlee is an NBA caliber yeah. player. Man, I, I honestly that. believe that. <laughs> I appreciate Because I've seen some other NBA players that come out here, yeah. bro. <laughs> There's no doubt so, in my mind you should be playing in the NBA. Man, man. I, I wish, but no reason, If man. you could play for an NBA team, what, what NBA team would you choose? Lakers. That's nice. For sure, uh, Lakers would Lakers. be oh, he's uh, the one shorts. of the top. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Who greatest Lakers for you? Kobe, for sure. Kobe. Your favorite NBA player? All time or right now? All time. Uh, I have to go with Kobe. Ooh, I, was, I, I thought it was Jordan. I mean, I feel like Jordan is the best, no Who's doubt. Who's the greatest of all time for you? I feel like Jordan is the best, no doubt. Uh, he's just so accomplished. That's who you play like. Of the court. That's who you play like, Jordan. Oh, man, I appreciate it. That's who he plays like. So smooth, man. Fade away. You don't watch him play? I know. Me and Mark, me and Mark was like, damn, he moves just like Jordan. We both won championship also, international. ABL. How was your guys a teammate in ABL? <laughs> Man, you know the what? truth. Tell the truth, <laughs> <laughs> Justin. Tell the truth, Justin. <laughs> Man, Rico is a funny guy, like y'all yeah, sure. know, right? For sure. But uh, honestly, when it came to you know um, doing his job on the team, uh, he went probably the hardest on the team. You know, uh, I know it was older. Uh, he was a little bit older at the time in his career. So he wasn't the young uh, Rico that uh, I didn't get to see too much of. But, Oh, what, what he brought to the team, man, it was it was huge. And um, I, I definitely, if we didn't have you, uh, that we probably would not have won that championship for sure. I remember you starting some games and filling in, you know, um, even coming off the bench or whatever you had to do, you know, you came. I think you would have won a championship even if even, even even you played. Even really? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another question, bro. In the PBA, who, who does he have a hard time with plays defense on him? I got to say... I gotta say, Gabe is one. Ooh, Gabe Norwood. Yeah, he's long, yeah. long. Especially uh, six five. Man, yeah. Yeah. He he. Always, I mean, that's his role on the Gitless team. Is he's like a like a import stopper. Yeah. So yeah. And, and luckily, like same thing. I was saying, like, I caught him a little later in his career, but yeah, but I, I remember a few that, years ago for like, sure. Like you know, he was always tough. Uh, Cliff Hodge. 
Yeah, he has a give some credit. He, 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 also player, yeah. Yeah, he played hard. He plays hard, man. Which team in the PB, like, if you match up against them, you're like, ah, oh, 50 points. Oh, man. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> <laughs> Which team do you always feel like you're going to have a good game against? Oh, uh, who I want to, I'm going to say who I want to play good against. Is that good? What's your career high? I think 50. Against who? My favorite ever. Good vibes and everything. The most, most favorite. Well, I'm gonna say you two guys, man. Don't say that. JJ and Rico. <laughs> you, you, you can't say that just because we're here, man. <laughs> JJ and Rico. Come on, man. man. Oh, LA is amazing. He's an amazing teammate, and um, he's always helping guys. You know, um, even on and off the court, you know, he'll hit me up sometimes just to see, like, oh, how are you? Oh, yeah, Scotty, too. On the opposite end, who's your worst teammate? <laughs> the, worst, worst. the worst teammate no. you ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everyone uh, has one. Yeah, I have one. I'm trying to think. Saul? <laughs> Saul McConnell, yeah, Saul. That's it, right there. Saul, so you're your uh, teammate is Saul Mercado. Oh, Mercado. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, they're close. <laughs> nah, that's my boy, man. So cool. Uh, Justin, of course, from day one, you're an Hinebra player, right? If you have one choice. If you didn't play for Hinebra, what team would you like to play for? Probably one of the San Miguel teams, for sure. San Probably San Miguel, though, man. Keep it in the family. Yeah. Yes, sir. Keep it in the family. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, you manga. You manga. Oh, I'm going to smoke the guy. Lo uh, you know, you watch local movies? Do you have like a local crush. celebrity crush in the Philippines? Oh, 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 oh. Nah, Let's go! <laughs> no, I don't really know no names, though. Who's your Hollywood crush? Uh, Maybe J Lo or. Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, we get we get a lot of those. Yeah. We get yeah, a lot like of Jennifer Lopez. Lopez. Yeah. Um, What's your jersey number, Justin? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Why? Uh, There's a reason behind the number. Actually, Magic Johnson. Oh. Magic Johnson. I feel like he was an all-around player, and that's how I try to uh, play. I try to be all around. I think I enjoy passing and setting somebody else up more than uh, scoring. Here's a personal question, Justin. Um, personal? Yeah, personal. This is for me. Um, can I get an autograph in every jersey from you, bro? Yeah, I'll tell you, man. Yeah! <laughs> I still got your jersey, man. Yeah! I'm going to frame it, bro. I'm going to put it yeah. in the shop. Well, hopefully one day when you get back, man, you can drop by the BBA Motor Club shop. Okay. So back to the question. Boss Mosh, may tanong ka kay Justin? Tagalog, eh. Translate that. Translate that. Gako, ikaw. What's your favorite, ano? Food? <laughs> you mean, uh, I like the chicken the double for sure, but are you, are like a deli delicacy? Uh, I tried balo. Remember when we was you, you really ate it? The whole thing? Or you just tried it? I, I tried it. I yeah, I got it. I can't yeah. do it. I have a story. Justin, I have a story. I will never forget this story. Talk to ABL. Me. Okay. Right? Yep. After practice. You go with us, with your teammate, right? Yeah. Because that's what we do. We we bond and after practice, we still hang out. Yeah. We go to this place. Um, Karinderia. Point, point? The point, point what? No, it's a Karinderia in Tagalog. You know Karinderia, we're in... Small cafeteria. You came with us, yeah. inside, and you eat with us. Yeah, yeah. No, you had no issues, you weren't complaining. Yeah. I think it was what, JT's maybe? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. JT's, JT's and... You know, there's a, sh a shop there, you know, nearby. I've had experience like they, they, they just look at the food and like, oh, I don't want that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And like what well, I tell everybody, I, I don't think I've ever, ever seen you do that, man. But you're open-minded. You oh, see yeah. something like, yeah, I'll try it. Why not? Yeah, yeah. For and more sure. often than not, you it's do, good. you do it, you taste it before you like, you make, you make a judgment or anything. Oh yeah. We always say everybody's like, like, you're super humble. That's why they call you Mr. Humble. You see why he's, he's good? Because every day he puts in work, man. I know. He's like one of the first people there at practice. Always one of the last ones to leave. Last, uh, Him and June June are always taking shots all day, every day. Uh, yeah. Did you know that June June was uh, when I first came here? He was the one that took care of me too. What? Yeah. June. In diaper now. Yeah, he's been with he never ever since. Yeah, my rookie year, he he stayed with me for like a year. He was the one that, that took care of me. He got a lot. He tell me all the stories just yeah. about the games uh, you and Mark had. Fast and the fear. He the one because I, I didn't know you know the monikers first. Yeah. 
but he was telling me, man, that what made that's what made me want to just YouTube. I YouTube you and Mark all your highlights, <laughs> game winners, everything, man. That's when I really started learning, you know, about the whole culture. He played it, like you say, Indonesia. Where else have you played? What other countries? I played Lebanon, Dubai, Italy, France, and well, Indonesia now. I'm gonna leave tomorrow for that. Out of all those places, like where is your favorite place to play? Playing in Europe, they just, you know, it's just different. But just all around for the basketball experience, it's, it's no doubt. It's the Philippines, for sure. No doubt. It's the ladies, huh? Joe, <laughs> 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 Joe. Jo, jo. <laughs> Are you married or single? No, I ain't married. I'm not married. You're not married? Nah. Who's your favorite coach? Outside of Coach Tim, man, there's a lot of good coaches in the Philippines. Um, Who do you think is the next? The next best coach? Oh, the next, like the second best. Ah. So for I you, mean, the coach. best coach is uh, no, Coach Tim, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think Coach, uh, you know, Coach Shark, Shark Red. Shark Reyes. He's, he's, he's really good. I know he, he got a lot of criticism. Um, with the last, uh, you know, the World Cups and, and before, but, you know, um, I think he should be appreciated way more, you know. Um, just the experiences, you know, of last year that I had with him, I think he was incredible. In the World Cup, I, I don't think it reflects how good he is just because, um, you know, we only won the one, was it one game or two games? I just think we just really matched up with some tough teams, yeah. some of the best teams in the world, yeah. you know. Probably most of those and, teams. And probably. People don't realize how hard it is to compete internationally like that, man. It's not as easy as it sounds, man. Yeah. You're playing against the best in the world, bro. And a lot of those guys were NBA All-Stars. Some of the games, you know, they were still close. You know, where they, they was winnable playing against, you know, like uh, Car Anthony Town. Yeah, he's one of the best players in the world, you know. But uh, I respect how the team fought, and um, even Coach Red, he did a great job. I don't know why it was unnoticed, but I seen it firsthand, you know, every day, the training and everything. Replacing uh, Clarkson, did you feel any pressure like you had to produce, you had to, like, to go out there and really perform and, and get the win for the Philippines when after that happened? I guess, yeah, you could say that for sure. You know, pressure just wanting to win. Everybody, you know, thinking we'll do great or wanting us to do great. It was just that type of pressure. You know, obviously the World Cup, it wasn't as successful as, you know, everybody thought it would be. But um, like I said, I think the team did great. And we just wanted to, you know, I guess show Asia that, you know, in the Asian games that we still we still feel like we wanted the top, you know, basketball countries are here. It's kind of like a you know? redeem team type, type vibe, right? Yeah. When you guys won it. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was crazy, man. That was probably like one of their proudest moments also, man. Man. Who is your favorite Gilas teammate? I like, I like everybody, you know. But uh, who among, <laughs> who is the most important teammate for you? Oh. Ooh, like the question, huh? <laughs> man. That's a tough one. I gotta be honest, I love playing with Scotty. Scotty, man, he do so many different all things. That's tangibles, man. That's man. why That's why he's so valuable, man. Yeah. Scotty doesn't have to score to be effective. That's the thing with Scotty. His energy, his hustle, his... Uh, he got his IQ. He's got court. great court vision. Man. He does more than just score, man. Oh, I got one, Justin. Yeah. You don't have to answer this one. But the controversy that, that was with you, that you had with China after you guys won it, yeah. what was that about? With the uh, suspension and everything? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We want to know, like, the whole... Do you think, like, China did that because they were sore, because they lost? Nah, nah. Everything was legit, you know. Um, during the competition, you know, uh, certain things are not allowed. And during the competition, I didn't do anything that right. was, you know, uh, prohibited or not allowed. Right. But before the competition... The this is where were you in the U.S.? Yes, yes. Okay. Or, or after yeah, the surgery, I took, you know, edibles, stuff like uh, maybe a few times a day just for like the pain, the being able to sleep well. I didn't really, I don't really like taking a lot of pain <laughs> meds, so. So it's, it was medicinal? Medicinal, for sure, yeah. Okay. I mean, I had all my paperwork um, to prove that as well. Uh, 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 but unfortunately, it was, it was still in my system. But during the competition, I didn't, I didn't hey, take any of, uh, you know, um, the TAC or anything that they caught. For my end, it wasn't nothing, you know, that China did. It was just FIBA. I think the Olympic Committee 
Okay. Um, it was whatever, you know. They tested me, and it was, yeah, it was everything was legit. Oh, well, at least now we know the whole story, because there was a lot of assumptions. Yeah, yeah. I take that in Canada, and then I go to the Philippines and play. Yeah. But then you get tested in a country where it's illegal. You're in LA, LA's legal. Yeah. Right, yeah. so we thought maybe, like, maybe in LA he took it, went to China. Yeah. So of course, it's still in your system. Yeah, yeah. They test yeah. you, but then it doesn't mean that you did it in China. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Justin, we just want to say we appreciate it, man. Thank you for... Uh, the time, man, that we right. finally got to talk to you, man. We've been right. wanting to actually interview for a while, but we just, we just now, we know you're busy. Man, I so, appreciate you guys. Now that you're here, you had no choice because you're in a car with us. This is what you interview. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, we appreciate you, man, and uh, good luck, man. Good luck in uh, Indonesia, and can't wait to see you play back on the Philippine soil, man. Oh yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yep. So guys, give man. a shout out to your uh, your fans, man. Shout out to all the fans, man. Thank you guys for the support. The whole Philippines. Love you guys. Puso. Oh, Puso. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the interview with Justin Brownlee. We'll try to... Uh... Wait, wait. I have one more question. Oh. <laughs> Justin Brownlee. Lights on, lights off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Yes, you just choose one. The lights on. Oh, oh, you're hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Brownlee, you, you are, are amazing! amazing. <laughs> Buksan ang iyong Game Exports app. I-log in ang iyong account. Magpunta sa menu bar at pindutin ang Lucky 4. Maaari mong tignan ang game schedule. Pwede pumili ng match na gusto mo. Ilagay ang iyong Lucky 4 digits. Kung hindi makapag-decide sa itatayang numero, maaari mong pindutin ang Lucky Pick icon. Pindutin ang Proceed. Ang 20 pesos mo ay maaaring manalo ng 10,000 pesos pataas. Maghintay para sa huling resulta ng laro.